In only a few centuries, our population will have skyrocketed with billions of people occupying every corner of the world. Things aren't just feeling cramped. Our factories, power plants, and forests will have been used to its limits. Sea levels will rise to skyscrapers. Biomes will all turn into deserts. And our supply of fresh drinking water will contaminate beyond repair. Our explosive growth will destroy the very planet we live on. And very soon, things will start to get ugly. People will turn on each other just for a drop of clean water. And almost all ecosystems will collapse. The world's resources will be depleted and with no space on Earth safe, our hopes of survival will be very grim. Against all odds, however, the world's leading scientists will come out with a major scientific breakthrough. They finally figured out a way to not only fix these problems, but to completely change the way we live. They look up to the sky with excitement because now they can harness the entire energy of the sun. Every second, the sun unleashes scorching hot solar flares, large enough to turn the earth into ashes. But right as it fires up, a gigantic metal sphere absorbs its fury without an issue. With this much energy, we instantly receive free and unlimited power. Global starvation, overpopulation, and climate change become a relic of the past when we colonize every planet in our solar system. Across planets, Mega cities would not only be filled with trillions of people, but it would also be powered to last for thousands of years. You could explore the lush forest of a transformed Mars, stop by Jupiter to eat any food you desired, and finally end the day overlooking the asteroid belt. But how could you visit these places in such a short time? After colonizing the solar system, planets can be moved around to wherever we wanted. If an asteroid started speeding at us, even bigger than the ones that wiped out the dinosaurs, we would dodge it or zap it out of existence. Nature could throw almost any danger at us and we would be fine. Even if our very own solar system were somehow destroyed, we could retreat to our other colonized planetary systems. With spaceships traveling such long distances, stars would be the gas stations of space. If you were running out of energy, you could simply drop by the surface of a man-moved star to refuel for your next space trip. Unlike past fears of an overpolluted and overpopulated Earth, harnessing the energy of the stars would help us explore space while ensuring our safety from any kind of natural extinction. Even after thousands of years, war may still haunt us. Despite the energy of stars and the security that it comes with, our thirst for power will remain unquenched. Civil wars, at the very least, would be fought at the scale of entire planets. In comparison, the thousands of nuclear missiles, hazardous bioweapons, and cyber attacks of World War III would be the smallest form of warfare. Instead, throughout the solar system, we would fire planet-destroying beams at each other while defending ourselves with shields and radar that work at the tiniest quantum levels. When things get really serious, entire planetary systems would battle using multi-dimensional weapons because of the immense distances between them. Star energy wouldn't be enough to power these weapons. Instead, black holes would fuel military conflict at the interstellar scale. Not only does humanity risk being wiped from existence, but the fabric of reality itself may collapse. This seems like a lot to live through, especially since you're just a regular person. However, you wouldn't even notice these things, since you would be living in a computer system. An entire universe would be simulated, including you, and the boundary between reality and fantasy would disappear. You could live in a video game, become God, or just have a peaceful life. The possibilities are endless and it's impossible to tell how humanity evolves from this point. After all, we started off in the jungle with stone tools, and now we can explore the vast reaches of our universe. With the endless potential of humanity, however, the far future is just one among many things that evoke infinite wonder.
We hope you enjoyed our look into what happens in the far future. Would you choose to live in the real world or a simulation? Share your thoughts, suggestions, and questions in the comments below. Interesting new content like this is uploaded every week, so be sure to like and subscribe to see more of Infinite Wonder.